My name is Matt Barkovich. I'm a, a radiology resident and a T32 fellow in the uh, Department of Radiology and Biomedical Imaging here at UCSF. The T32 training grant program at UCSF is unique in that it's a pre-existing funded research opportunity for trainees that we know we have available to us if we're interested during our residency. There's the program leadership. Dr. Thomas Link heads the program and he's an established researcher with a pedigree of uh, conducting successful funded research. If I ever need advice about logistics, funding, those sorts of things, he's there to support me. It also sets me up with both a senior mentor and more direct research mentor. So I'm interested in figuring out how the brain works by looking at how it develops, both normally and abnormally. So what we're doing specifically uh, with neurofibromatosis is we're looking at MRIs of the brain that are obtained on children who have these diseases. And we're looking at the different regions of the brain, and then we can compare the volumes of different areas of the brain. So we can see, okay, what are the differences in the brain of a patient with neurofibromatosis and a normal child. Do the things that we know about the genetics suggest might be the cause of those differences? How do those differences change throughout development? And how do those differences correlate with the various manifestations of the disease that I was talking about earlier? If we can look at someone's brain when they're say four or five years old, and they have neurofibromatosis, and we can predict this is someone who's more likely to have cognitive difficulties, then we can make sure that they get appropriate intervention, they get extra help in school, they sort of get through school with that problem identified ahead of time, as opposed to waiting until they're already behind, and then you intervene, but you're, you're catching up. The thing about this disease, in particular neurofibromatosis, is that it looks like in many cases, cognitive difficulties they have during childhood resolve by the time they reach early adulthood but by that point you've already ended up behind so if we can help get them through that uh, period they might be able to have a much easier time in school and subsequent life